6. Hop on a rugged off-roading course inside. See a Chicago Sports Stars car that he built for a really good cause. Be amazed by cutting-edge car technology. And, of course, get your first look at the flashiest wheels ready to hit the road. We've got it all. So strap yourselves in. Because ABC7 presents the Chicago Auto Show. Now, here are your hosts, Mark Giangreco and Jim Rose. Good evening, everybody, and welcome live to beautiful McCormick Place in downtown Chicago. I am Mark Greco, along with my buddy and fellow motorhead, his Jay Arnis. Well, you know, there's no denying this. We all love cars, right? So for us and for many others, opening day of the 2019 Chicago Auto Show just couldn't come fast enough. Well, you got that right. This is actually the 111th edition of the show, if you can believe this. Opening day almost in the books. Doors open till 10, so you can still come on down. Ten more days to go in this fabulous run. Over 1,000 cars. We'll let you look at them. We'll let you sit in front of them. We might even let you drive them. <laughs> now, as much as we would like to, we can't cover this all alone. So we have listed the, enlisted the help of some of our ABC7 colleagues to help you take it all in. This really is a car lover's paradise, and we're going to show you some of the ones getting the big buzz. That's right, Tracy. Like Subaru's most advanced legacy yet, Roz. And I'm also looking at a real standout sedan, Volkswagen's iconic Jetta. The cars are definitely what you come to see. But there's tons of fun to be found here, too. Thanks, gang. And you know, there's a lot of glitzy new vehicles here. There are indoor and outdoor tracks. There's even some dazzling displays. And in fact, there's so much that we have rounded up a little bit of help, right, Mark? You know what? There's way too much stuff to see. <laughs> so who better to show Tracy and myself around this huge barn of cars than this year's chairman of the auto show, Mr. Ray Scarpelli. First stop on the tour is the Chicagoland Chevy Blackhawks Family Fun Zone. This car was restored by none other than our goalie, Corey Crawford. Amazing. A hockey guy and a car guy all rolled into one. I love seeing Ray because we get all geeked up on talking muscle cars. Doesn't get any better than this. A 1970 Chevelle SS. Our passion is, is cars and I was learning a lot doing this build, but I think at the end of the day, it'd be nice to give back to Chicago and do it in this way with something that, that we'd love to do. It's a really big deal for us to tie a player into the work that we're already doing, and he chose the Blackhawks Foundation because we impact kids and nonprofits across the city. Now remember, raffle tickets, 40 bucks for this beauty. The winner's going to roll out of here with the Chevelle SS on the final day of the auto show. We're getting in. Get in. Go. I'm go. in. Are you kidding me? You always get to drive. Wow. So we're just walking along and we're stopped in our tracks by this Ray. Tell us about it. It's a brand new Silverado made out of Legos, Tracy. Kids can come here and play with not these Legos. You can build your own Lego Chevy truck and bring it home. Oh my goodness, we got four Lego friends here at the Auto Show. On Sundays you can come and pet puppies. This is unbelievable. We're surrounded by horsepower, but we're taking a puppy power break right now. This is Nookie. Subaru brings its pet adoption event. It's all part of the Subaru Loves Pets campaign. All right, we're here at the Ford exhibit now, Ray. This looks like the biggest exhaust system I've ever seen. What is it? It's the Ford Scramble Net. It's 15 feet high. It's 10,000 hand-tied ropes. I think this one is going to be hard to get the kids out of. And just families. I think family fun says it all right there. That's right. You get them in there, you're not going to get them out, Tracy. Well, it's not just for kids anymore. We're going in. Let's do it. Oh! Whoa! From the... <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Land Rover marks the first at the show this year, building a massive track that truly shows off the capabilities of the entire Land Rover lineup. And on this one, you tackle an 18-foot tall hill and tilt on banks up to 30 degrees. It'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. The last stop on our tour is the new and improved Kia test track. It's called the Kia Torque Track. You may recognize some of the stars in this one. Absolutely. I saw this in a Super Bowl ad. You did? And you know what? Now I feel like I'm in Colorado. Well, that's why, Tracy, there's over 500 tons of sand, dirt, and mulch, and over two dozen trees. Wow. Get your hard hat on. We're taking a spin. Gosh, I feel like I'm in a roller coaster at Six Flags. What happens if you hit a squirrel? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm so glad we didn't let Tracy drive. Wow. I think I lost the filling in that one. <laughs> Ray, thanks a lot. It's always great hanging out with you. One million square feet of cars. That's what we have yeah. here. It's amazing. Only McCormick Place could accommodate the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people as well. They're going to come through here the rest of the month of February. Wow. And you know, to help you navigate the world's largest auto show, we have recruited the help of our great ABC7 traffic reporter, Roz Varon. Here's what to know before you go. First, getting here is a breeze. With thousands of parking spots in the adjoining parking lot A, you can ditch your coat in the car and start enjoying all the tracks and exhibits in no time. Now, if you don't mind a little walk, lot B is just south of McCormick Place, and it'll save you eight bucks. For real-time parking advice on peak days, it's as simple as connecting with the Chicago Auto Show via its social media channels. We are constantly monitoring our social media channels 24-7, and if people are on their way down to the show, they can actually tweet us, and we'll tell them the closest parking garage to park in. There are plenty of ways to save a few bucks to get your ticket into the show, too. On Monday, February 11th, sporting the jersey of your favorite Chicago sports team will get you $6 off the price of a ticket. And if you're visiting on February 13th through the 15th, just bring in three cans of food for that same discount. It's all part of the annual food drive for a safe haven. Every year, believe it or not, they gather about 10 tons of food for uh, a safe haven. If browsing this mega auto showroom makes you hungry, there are a couple of fast food spots down on the lower level. And look for filling dishes like turkey melts, brats, calzones, and burrito bowls. These are offered throughout the entire auto show in different locations. Who doesn't love fudge? Ribas is back with lots of their signatures. ...to be found for all ages, too. And six outdoor ride and drive. Tracy and Mark. It may seem more like a classic street. Real appearance at Chicago Auto Show. You get a tasting pass, and that tasting pass allows you to have 10 three ounce samples. Craft beer love event and enjoy the best brews around while browsing the latest vehicle models. To be able to bring them inside for the winter uh, at the auto show is really a neat opportunity. Here's to Friday night flights at the Chicago Auto Show. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Raj. Boy, it seems like we've already covered a bunch of mm -hmm. stuff. We've got a lot more to come, though. Yes, we do. We'll be right back after this. Coming up, get your first look at the latest sleek takes on two iconic sedans. Then Tracy takes the wheel to test out some pretty impressive car tech. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents the Chicago Auto Show. Experience the Chicago Auto Show for yourself. Get your tickets at drivechicago.com. And before you go, be sure to download the Auto Show app to your smartphone or tablet. I'm Corey Crawford, the Chicago Blackhawks at the Chicago Auto Show. Now here are your nominees for Best of Show, Best Exhibit. It performs well and it's very reliable. For every car buff out there who missed tuning in to one of the Windy City's only car-centric radio shows, the wait is over. Drive Chicago has made its return to the WLS airwaves. The show has a long, long history on WLS. I saw that there was a need for the kind of show. There was interest in the show. The show is for anyone who has interest in cars. So who's at the mic of this car-minded Saturday morning broadcast? I'm Jennifer Kuiper along with Mark Felix, general manager of Drive Chicago and auto enthusiast. Jim O'Grill, who is the Chicago Auto Show Marketing Director. At the core of most of these shows are easy-to-follow breakdowns of all the new vehicles on the market. When the Compass first came out, it, it wasn't the best received in terms of look. Yeah, I'm driving cars all the time, different cars each week, and we try and bring that weekly review into every show. We also do fun car quizzes and stuff to keep people engaged. There are industry highlights. Up just over a half percent compared to 2017. Can the industry keep up the momentum? While the panel may boast real automotive experts, the information they 
they serve up is catered to the average Chicago driver. There's so much information out there. It's information overload. We break things down for people. If you've got questions, you can reach out to us on our social channels, and, and we'll respond and address them on the show. Another way people are getting their car fix is from the website of the same name, Drive Chicago. It's actually one of the very first online vehicle websites in the Windy City. Drive Chicago has more than 100,000 vehicles, both new and used. We redesigned Drive Chicago to be better on mobile devices, to be faster, to provide the details that people want. Once you zero in on the car of your dreams, if you like it, you'll get automated alerts with price changes. You just click the heart next to the vehicle. So whether you're actually in the market for a new set of wheels or just staying up to date, you now have not one but two great Drive Chicago resources to turn to. Chicago's a great market for automotive, and we're a show here to serve that automotive enthusiast. It's a great show. Again, automotive. So it was a very easy thing to bring back. search. Did you know that nearly 70% of the folks here at the Chicago Auto Show, they're in the market for new wheels within the next year. And one car that's turning heads is this Subaru Legacy. President and CEO of Subaru for America, Thomas J. Dahl, was here earlier in the week to tout the most advanced legacy yet. This is the 30th anniversary of the Subaru Legacy, and it's built in our production facility in Lafayette, Indiana, which is not too far from here. So this is the sixth generation of our Legacy, and what makes it such a great vehicle is the fact that in the segment that it competes in, it's got all-wheel drive. It's one of the few vehicles that has all-wheel drive throughout the lineup. It's got outstanding fuel economy, and as you also know, 96% of all Subaru sold over the last 10 years are still on the road today. So the cars are very reliable and very durable. And here is this gorgeous legacy. Let's talk about it. She is a beauty. It comes standard with eyesight. That's part of their driver assist technology that can actually break for you. The eyesight system has been shown to reduce rear end collisions with injuries by up to 85%. The legacy is also equipped with Subaru's driver focus, which gives you a warning if you look away from the road for more than three seconds. Subaru's also managed to make this model more roomy for both passengers and cargo. It even boasts Starlink infotainment to connect you with your favorite music, news, and apps. You can come see this car here if you come to the auto show, but for now, we're going to send it to Roz, who has more on sedans. And we're here at Volkswagen, a real giant in the world of imports. And this year, there's a major update with an iconic model, the Jetta. Here to tell us more is Carolina Reed. And Carolina, I know there's a lot of technology. Let's talk about it. Oh, absolutely. So the 2019 Jetta is bigger and bolder than before. It now has things such as the Volkswagen configurable digital dashboard. And it has all new driver assistance features. And a lot more things come standard now with it as well. So we're very excited about it. As you should. Be. And yeah. it's very powerful. A lot of HP there. Oh, absolutely. So this is the GLI, the Jetta Sportier sibling, which actually has 228 horsepower now and a two, uh, two uh, liter four cylinder turbo. And we're very excited about this because we've been waiting for it to come out. And now it's here. And it is just as sporty as the GTI to the Gulf. So we love it. Excellent. And everybody wants to be connected. The Jetta does not disappoint. It does not. No. So it comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. It also has a digital dashboard as I mentioned before. Um, we have our six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty that it comes with, which is best in class, and many more technology features, even Beats Audio, which is new to us, too. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Carolina. <laughs> now we're going to head over to the ABC7 booth. That's where Windy City Live's Val Warner and Ryan Cheverini are hanging out. Hey, guys. Hey, Ross. Thanks so much. You are right. ABC7 has its own display here at the Chicago Auto Show. It's our home base, and look who decided to come over and join us. It's our friend Tracy Butler. Tracy. Hi, you guys. I mean, what's not to love here? I mean, this is one of my favorite events of the whole year in Chicago. What's not to love? All these brand new vehicles. Absolutely. Yeah. The cars are the stars, but also all of these fans, too. <laughs> Something for everybody, and that's why thousands come out each year to the nation's largest auto show. We had a chance to walk this massive landscape and pick out some of our faves. Oh, my goodness. Well, you saw one of my favorites, and it is above the Ford display. It is so cool. It's called the Ford Scramble Net for kids and kids at heart, I guess we will say. But, Val, there I am, oh and my this goodness. is 15 feet above <laughs> 
show floor. You are so brave. Yeah, Mark was shaking that, wasn't he? It was, yeah. it was like an eighth grader, I think. Yeah, he was shaking that thing. Well, let me tell you what I did, because you know these test tracks are so fun and they're so unique, but I love the Ram Territory track where you actually ride with professional drivers, thank God they didn't let me drive, <laughs> who are really putting these Ram workhorses to the test. But check this out, like this banked course right here that literally tilts 30 feet. It was so scary. Yeah, it definitely was. And you'd see me check that out. Who doesn't like driving a little bit fast? Even if it's virtual driving, I put the pedal to the metal in Hyundai's racing challenge. You feel like you're racing a 2019 Hyundai Veloster. It's the next best thing to being Michael Andretti, you know? Well, needless to say, there is tons to do out here at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show. All one million square feet of it. Yeah, Tracy, thanks for stopping by. Oh my gosh, anytime. And you know what? We are going to take a break. We'll be back after this. Stay with us. Coming up, see the sleek new stylings of a couple of small SUVs. And Tracy puts one of those models to the test when she hops behind the wheel for her hands-on look at some amazing automotive tech. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents the Chicago Auto Show. Hey, Chicago and everyone at the Chicago Auto Show. Jimmy's got the next category. Why, thank you, Guillermo. Yes, I do. These are the nominees for Best of Show Best All-New Production Vehicle. My father, John, and his brother, Herman, started the business. Now, decades of success means eight continental showrooms are spread all across the western suburbs. And coupled with that success comes an all-important devotion to the communities they serve. I believe it's our responsibility as business owners here to support what else is going on in the community. That commitment to giving back prompted Continental to partner up with Loaves and Fishes. We feel that we are sort of an anti-poverty agency trying to help people reach that next level in their life. That next level for many in need begins with a reliable set of wheels. That's why we say donate a car, transform a life, because we are actually trying to give them to a family that is lacking affordable transportation. That's where Continental Motors comes in and donates a used vehicle from each of their eight stores every year. This is the eighth consecutive year that we've done this, so 64 total cars over the last eight years, and uh, it's, it's really our favorite night of the year. The night is Continental's annual Driven to Care car giveaway at their Toyota dealership in West Suburban Hodgkins. It really uh, you know, warms our heart to be able to do it. Loaves and Fishes identifies deserving drivers enrolled in their programs. Well, I've had to take the train and the bus to get to my job. Waiting for the pace buses and traveling such long distances. But this one night changes everything for the eight lucky recipients. It's awesome. I mean, it takes a, a miraculous group of people to put something together like this. I'm so happy. Thank you for everyone. Thank you. I like the car. <laughs> Continental knows their generosity has a real impact. 100% of the people have said that these cars changed their life. It gives them dignity, it gives them hope, and just a better outlook on life. Chicago Auto Show. And you know, when all of these folks come here and they look at these gorgeous vehicles, it's natural to want to share the excitement, right? In fact, the Auto Show's hashtag has trended number one down through the years. So why don't I share a few of those with you? How about this one? Jim R says, can't wait to see the Chevy Blazer and take a ride on the Land Rover test track. I don't blame you, Jim. Jesse G says, this is on Facebook, my boys all love the trucks. I'm looking to sit in some SUVs and do some dreaming. I don't blame you, Jesse. I like to dream too. 
Kazman416 says, 40 years old in my first auto show in the greatest city in the world. I agree. And Ms. Acura RDX17 says, my dad and I go every year. It's an annual tradition since I've been a little girl. I'm most excited to see the Corey Crawford Chevelle in person because I am the biggest Corey Crawford fan ever. Those are just a few of the tweets that are being sent out about the 2019 Chicago Auto Show. And who does not love the smell, the feel of a new car? But most of us looking to buy, getting our hands on the latest technology is really important. And that's where ABC7's Tracy Butler is. Hey, Trace. Our first stop in search of cutting-edge tech is Haggerty Buick GMC in Lombard, where GMC's new take on the trusty tailgate is shaking things up in the pickup truck world. This is the multi-pro tailgate, which is new on the SLT and the Dallas here. Capable of six different functions, the multi-pro is changing the way the work gets done. It's touted as a first in trucks. So you have a primary gate, similar to what you would find on most pickup trucks. You also have two separate load stops. It becomes a full width step, a work surface, as well as the easy access, allowing you to get your cargo closer to the main. Once you see the functions on this tailgate, it's going to make you think that other ones are just a little too simplistic. You can't talk about great technology without looking at some of the best safety features out there. I'm here at Bill K. Nissan to check out the 2019 Nissan Rogue SL. With the uh, Safety Shield technology, you have blind spot warning, uh, predictive forward collision, rear cross traffic alert, intelligent cruise control, as well as the parking sonar and rear view monitor system. To see the shield in action, you got to take a test drive. The lane departure warning system was great. Well, it doesn't like that. No. Gives you all kinds of warnings. The Pro Pilot Assist is really impressive. Yeah, I can feel it slowing down. It is sensing these cars in front of me completely stopped. Wow, did you use the brake at all? Uh, not until the very end. Yeah. I didn't have to. A big part of being safe behind the wheel is being able to see your surroundings. That means lots of cameras. Four make up Nissan's new 360 degree around view monitoring system. It makes parking a breeze. You know, it says green, yellow, and red, so you can kind of measure where you're really at. When you get into the room, uh, see, it's letting you know there is a curb there. So now you can see on the camera, it's picking him up, walking all the way around the car. I liked that I could see around all sides of the car. We have a lot of cars in our driveway and a tight garage, and that would be perfect for our house. I was blown away by it, actually. Thanks, Trace. You look great behind the wheel of that Rogue. And now it's time for me to take a look at one of the hottest selling SUV crossovers around. This is a big deal for Nissan. We're going to bring in William Matisse to tell us more about the Nissan Rogue Sport. Really nice, fresh new look. Yeah, great new look. It debuted here in Chicago this week, and it has a new front end. It's Nissan's V-Motion 2.0 grille, new LED lighting, that standard new fog lights. We think uh, it looks the part. It looks much more than it costs. You can bring one home to your driveway from any Nissan dealer here, and we're excited that uh, it made its first appearance here in Chicago. Oh, that is very exciting. And besides looking great, there's a lot of impressive technology there. That's right, Roz. It's the first vehicle in its segment with Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist, so it's a hands-on driver assist technology. Drivers keep their hands on the wheel, but the vehicle takes care of braking, steering, and keeps the vehicle centered in the lane. For Chicago traffic on Lakeshore, it'll stop and go and come to a full stop and then get the vehicle going again. So really helpful, reducing stress and creating a nice environment in the car. Yeah, and traffic and weather go together, and this thing has all-wheel drive, so it can handle any kind of weather, right? Absolutely. You can get all-wheel drive in the Rogue Sport, which helps. Uh, it's intelligent all-wheel drive, so you don't need to push a button or turn it on or worry about it. It does its thing, powers the front wheels most of the time, shifts power to the rear when it needs to, but keeps drivers where they want to go. What's not to like, exactly. right? It's beautiful, <laughs> and it's red. Oh, there you go. Thank you, William. Okay, right now, we're going to check in with Mark Greco. He is over at Land Rover. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Roz, thank you very much. You know, Land Rover has long been known for rugged off-road capability and always that touch of luxury. Joining me now, Dave Larson, the general manager of product management for Jaguar Land Rover. I tell you, I love this Evoque. It is something. Oh, thank you. This is the all-new 2020 Range Rover Evoque. 
Now, safety first as always, right? Absolutely, and we added a lot of content when it comes to safety. Some uh, features are the lane keep assist, forward collision warning, and we even have a sensor in the vehicle which detects if you become drowsy and notifies you. That's also cool. Uh, I got to know what's under the hood, of course. So we have two new engines, a 246 horsepower four-cylinder, as well as a mild hybrid 296 horsepower engine. Plenty of power, all the rugged stuff is taken care of. What about the cabin? A lot of luxury. A lot of luxury, and it increased. So the wheelbase increased about an inch, and that came through in the second row, so added uh, knee room in the second row. That and is so awesome. Evoking a lot of emotion here <laughs> at the Chicago Auto Show. Dave, thank yes. you very much. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after this. Coming up, Mazda's new spin in a sporty classic. Ford crisscrosses the country on a mission to make new drivers safer out on the open road and tour a pair of impressive downtown dealerships. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents the Chicago Auto Show. Experience the Chicago Auto Show for yourself. Get your tickets at drivechicago.com. And before you go, be sure to download the Auto Show app to your smartphone or tablet. But I know you can't wait to hear the nominees for Best of Show, Best Concept Vehicle. So here they are. The boulders are expertly stacked. Getting dirty, an art form. For 15 years, Jeep has set up camp in the same corner of McCormick Place. Nothing like this had ever been done at the auto show before. You know, back then it was cars and pretty models, you know, talking about cars. 2005 was a big year for the Chicago Auto Show. Well, these experiences typically happen outdoors. We just thought, what a great way to bring it to the people of the Chicago Auto Show and bring it into our show so they never have to leave the show floor to experience it. Bringing the Jeep experience to life inside was no small feat. We bring in 60 truckloads of rock, 60 trucks of dirt. We built something that people, you couldn't do at a dealership. Scott Ponick is what you might call an auto show super fan. He hasn't missed a show in 30 years. You started going to the shows and you were just enjoying all the cars, kind of getting in and out and everything else. There wasn't a whole lot of interact. And then when Jeeps started that, you're like, oh my God, this is cool. Most Jeep owners are never going to put their Jeep to this extreme. And you're able to go through it, see how high up the hill you can go. So that's the best thing about it. Camp Jeep was an instant show favorite. They run to get in line to take the Jeep for a ride. And that hasn't changed in 15 years. We'll do over 40,000 rides over the 10-day period. And we've done over a half a million rides since we started this thing 15 years ago. Camp Jeep has seen some changes. We need people to believe that they're outside somewhere. They're in Denver, Colorado, or they're in Arizona. So we started adding more organic material to it, and it kind of grows each year. But one thing that's consistent is the hill. We always have the hill. That draws people from everywhere. It's a thrill that stands the test of time. Jeep doesn't see an end to the ride. It really is the longest lasting ride and drive that, that we've ever done. And we have no intentions of stopping them. ABC 7's Chicago Auto Show Special. You know, this really is a buyer's playground. Cross shopping is so simple. It's all under one roof. Now, the majority of the folks here are actually in the market to buy, and the market is still hot. U.S. auto sales were up again last year. And when it's time to actually buy, Chicago dealerships are making those visits oh so enticing. Like not one, but two city showrooms that just keep getting bigger and better. Oh, this is hallowed ground. This is the spot where Razee Frank started the world's largest Chevrolet store in 1932. So, it's only fitting that the next automotive chapter carved out on this corner in the West Rogers Park neighborhood be pretty epic, too. Bob Locurcio's Northside Toyota does not disappoint. Everything that the customer visits our dealership for is under the roof. From new Toyota models on their 40-car showroom floor, to a wide array of used cars just one story up in a gigantic climate-controlled complex you never have to go outside to browse. Whether it's raining or snowing or whatever it is, you can just be comfortable. 
We have a kids play area. We have a Starbucks coffee area. We have a quiet area. And then we have the business area where you can plug in and get free wireless throughout the entire dealership. It's been less than a year that Northside's been open, but the buzz is unmistakable. The service is really great. You feel really comfortable over here. It's been incredible to watch the investment that's been made by new car dealers in the city, not just on the high end, but volume dealerships too. Our next stop is in the Bucktown neighborhood. Fox 4 also boasts a massive new store. It sits on seven acres. It's the largest Ford dealership in Chicago, and it's even a bit of a blueprint for new Ford stores all across the country. It's one of the first ones in a metro market like this where we really want to be able to service everybody uh, in one place. Fox also built a vertical dealership, and important in this build was being green. We have a green roof. There's the Ford showroom side and the Lincoln showroom side, and plenty of sleek spaces to hang out. As much as we love the dealership, everybody doesn't want to spend all day here, so we try to make it as efficient as possible. Fox Ford has an in-house coffee maker, and who doesn't love a fresh-baked chocolate chip cookie? There's plenty of room. There's great refreshments every time I come in. It's what you would want from a dealership. And I think little Jacob here agrees. Hi everyone, I'm here in Mazda where the automaker has returned to its roots with the new MX-5. You may remember 30 years ago, Mazda actually debuted its Miata right here at the Chicago Auto Show. The Roadster went on to become the best-selling two-seater sports car convertible of all time. So we have to talk about this special anniversary edition. We have Lance Raven with Mazda here with us. I have to ask you, what is it about this Miata that people love so much? Well, thank you so much, Sheriff, for joining us here on this special occasion. It is great to return to our roots here in Chicago, where again, we launched this vehicle 30 years ago. Since then, over 1 million people have enjoyed the driving of this particular vehicle. This special edition that we uh, designed for you, the engineers and designers, has three distinct color-coded packages. One, the exterior color, racing performance orange, as well as accents on the brakes and also the seats. It also comes with a limited edition, special, serialized uh, nameplate on the back of the vehicle. We got to talk about all these features and the love and the fan base behind this car. That's really what sparked this anniversary edition. Uh, the following for this vehicle is like no other that we have. It's the best that we've had. It's the longest running vehicle we've had for the past 30 years. It also comes in two special types, the soft top, which we're looking at now, and also retractable hard top, which is next to it. So talk about some of the special features that you love that make this such a great legacy vehicle and also pay tribute to its first model. Well, this vehicle was uniquely designed for its handling, and it handles fantastic. It corners terrific. It's very light. It's very agile. It's a vehicle with a horsepower ratio that really lets you enjoy driving. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with here, being here with us today. Absolutely beautiful. Can't thank you enough. Well, thank you very much for having us. All right, now we're going to send it over to Tracy in Ford. Thank you, Cheryl. And you know, as the SUV trend just continues to skyrocket, this vehicle right here, this is a king amongst kings for sure. It is the Ford Explorer, touted as really the all-time best-selling SUV in America, and this vehicle has real Chicago roots. You know the 2020 Ford Explorer is made right here at the Chicago Assembly Plant. Joining me right now is Tony Guido. Tony is co-chairman of the Chicago Auto Show this year and also, of course, a Ford dealer. It's so good to see you again. Hi, how are you? Glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with you. And talk about the power that this Ford Explorer has. This vehicle this year, it's lighter, it's leaner, and stronger. It has all new powertrain, all new motors, EcoBoost engine. We have a high output engine on the ST model with 400 horsepower. It's a great vehicle for us. Well, you know what? Buyers of all age are really looking at these tech packages, and this is second to none. Second to none. It's got collision warning. It's got, it can drive itself. It's park assist. It's got emergency stopping, emergency braking. It's just a great vehicle, and safety is number one. But you know what, Tony? We cannot get by without talking about the Chicago, the Chicago Connection. Built here in Chicago, it's a great tradition. You can see we have this vehicle for municipality, police cars. It's a great vehicle, and everybody wants one. Well, you know what? I want one. This one right behind me. How about it? Great. We can line you up right away. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure hope so. Well, you know what, Tony, thank you so much. Thank and you. I have to tell you about this great program that Ford does sponsor, always known as an automotive pioneer in the industry. And take a look and listen to this program because it should come as absolutely no surprise that the Detroit-based automaker isn't stopping without the cutting-edge technology and keeping drivers safe. And in fact, the youngest of drivers, they've gone a step further with an innovative program that they call Ford's Driving for Skills. Driving Skills for Life. Driving is an exciting time for any teen, but it is also a potentially scary time for the teenagers and their families. They do get in a disproportionate amount of crashes than you know, the, the general population. In fact, vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for U.S. teens, but Ford Motor Company is on a mission. They need more training, that's the bottom line, and the more training they can get, the better. And so, for 15 years, Ford has trekked a fleet of cars and professional drivers to dozens of cities all over the United States to deliver some high-tech training to willing teens for free. On this summer weekend at DuPage Airport, about 400 new drivers were put through the paces on a vehicle handling course. The first time it was really rough, but then as you did it more, you got used to how fast you have to react. And even an impaired driving simulation. We put the actual drunk goggles on the students to show them how it would look impaired. And Tazewell County Deputy Sheriff John Schallenberger should know. His central Illinois county was profoundly affected by a string of tragedies linked to teen driving. Drivers. We lost 15 teens in a 15-month period in our county. Now, Schallenberger volunteers to lend a hand when Ford brings the program back to Illinois. He knows well the positives that come out of these sessions. After that, we went five years without losing a teen in our community. This is an amazing thing that Ford has done. After this, after seeing them do that, I feel better. And the young drivers also easily see the benefits. You can make mistakes here and learn from them. Now I know what to do in case of almost any situation. Yep, and we have found folks who just love coming to the Chicago Auto Show year after year, including, come on up, Kennedy and Tiffany. Okay, here we go. Kennedy, tell me why do you like coming to the auto show? Because I could look at cars that I could get when I'm older. Oh, really? Like what? Like Range Rover. Whoa. She's got some good taste, Mom yes. Tiffany. Yes, she does. She get that from her mom. What can I say? What do you like <laughs> about the auto show? You no, know, I love the, a good family time opportunity to see all the different vehicles, the ones you can get, and those that you know you just wish you can have. You want to dream point. about. You want to dream about. I exactly. like doing that. Exactly. Looking at those exotics yeah. and all of that exactly. stuff. I want to bring up another fan here. This is uh, this is Jeff. Hi. Jeff's How a big Cubs fan. Oh yeah, big Cub fan. A Chicago uh, sports fan. So absolutely. And what brings you out to the auto show? Because I know this is your first rodeo either no we've been coming for the last uh, 10 15 years we like looking at the cars we like the test drives we were looking at conversion vans today so we were having a good time all right so, so you might be making a purchase oh I, we were thinking about it yeah <laughs> can you buy me one too yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks jeff enjoy all right we have more to come from the 2019 chicago auto show after this break Coming up, get a glitzy sneak peek at the nation's largest auto show and a big comeback for a sports car legend. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents the Chicago Auto Show. Hey Chicago, Ginger Z here from Good Morning America. For all the car buffs checking out the Chicago Auto Show tonight, well, these are the nominees for the best of show, best green vehicle. live music, and lots of kid-friendly fun, to mouth-watering spreads, and of course, cars, and lots of them. There isn't really a better way to spend a nice summer day while you lift up our men and women in uniform. Events like these played out at neighborhood auto dealers all over Chicago this past July. We have more dealerships than ever participating. It's all with one common goal in mind, to give our troops a helping hand through the USO. The USO of Illinois helps over 325,000 active duty members and their families every year. This past July, a record 115 dealers raised more than $180,000. Dealers like Tony Guido of Arlington Heights 
toured. We have uh, dunk tank, we have silent auctions, we have kids games. It's no surprise that some of the most loyal guests at these barbecues are veterans who appreciate the important mission of the USO. It brings a little bit of home away from home to veterans. The support for the troops was every bit as strong in the western suburbs where the crowds flocked to Elmhurst Toyota. Get to eat a lot, enjoy, and, and do something really good for the USO. Here, the dealership enlisted a fleet of military vehicles to display, inflated the big bouncy slide, had the 28 Days Band entertain the crowd, and of course, fired up those grills. At the helm of this grill is a former reservist who now runs an innovative culinary training program for vets. Cafe Liberty is a culinary training school for veterans. It's a free 11-week program. The more veterans that we can get trained, the more, more veterans that we can find work for and help improve their quality of life. I think we are going to surpass $30,000. These annual barbecues are just one more way Chicago's auto dealers rally support for the communities they serve. ABC7. You know, there are 1,000 shiny new vehicles here, four indoor test tracks, six outdoor test drives, and a lot of excitement from the crowd on opening day. Right, guys? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. But before all of this, did you know you can get a sneak preview of the show? You can enjoy food from some of Chicago's finest restaurants, and it's all for a great cause. This is the auto show the night before it opens to the public. Uh, amazing. I'm ready to drive out of here right now. Oh, my gosh. The outfits are amazing. Chicago's finest food. We are about to head to the Andes table, which we've had our eye on all night. Top shelf drinks, fashion, celebrities, and the best part, it's all for a good cause. And Catholic Charities is always, uh, is always important to me. Uh, I love them, and I would give them as much as I can. Special Olympics. We always support Special Olympics. It's hard to believe that a party would with 10,000 people would be exclusive, but when it's spread over a million square feet, it really is. Stations of small plates from Chicago's best chefs cover the entire million square foot show. Saver, who is the caterer at McCormick Place, does such a fine job. And then they allow uh, a number of restaurants from around the city to come in and donate their food as well. It works out to about 80 to 90,000 small plates. We have an army of a team and they're very, very very dedicated. It will come in at 4 in the morning and probably finish about 10 p.m. at night. Once your plate is full, you can catch some live music. Look at me, look at me. And you might even make some celebrity sightings. This is amazing how much money is going to be raised uh, for all different charities. So um, it's, it, it's great for, uh, for Chicago. This year, Chicago Blackhawks goalie Corey Crawford stopped by to show off the Chevelle he restored for charity. It's a great chance to uh, show it here uh, with how many people come through and uh, to, uh, to get a chance to uh, raise a little bit more for uh, Hawks Foundation. Charity is a big part of the night. All proceeds from ticket sales go directly to 18 charities. The first look for charity has been around since 1992. And... Uh, it, we've raised over $50 million during that time. Tinley Park Chevy dealer John Alferovich was honored as 2019's Time Dealer of the Year for his charitable spirit. Around the country, well, they don't have what actually what Chicago has. Guys raising $50 million, reaching out uh, in the communities uh, on a daily basis. One of the reasons Chicago got noticed in this, in this Time magazine. Every year, two lucky winners go home with a new car. The food, entertainment, and the feeling of giving back. 2.8 million. Make for one of the most loved charity events in the city. Over 2.8 million dollars raised today for our 18 local charities. We are thrilled. Wow! Ross, thank you. Well, the SUV craze, it's still going strong, and I'm here to check out the Kia Sportage. It is the leading compact SUV in the market, and joining me to brag more about it, this is James Bell, Director of Corporate Communications and Social Media 
Let's be socializing about this. Tell us more about this redesign. You, you said I can brag, right? Oh, yeah. This is the Sportage. It is the first car that Kia introduced when they came to the U.S. market uh, 25 years ago now. It's really kind of our, it's our icon vehicle. Everybody knows Sportage and Kia. And so we've updated this uh, for 2020. New interior, new technology, new safety features, um, a new front end. Well, the thing is, James, even though this has been in the market for a really long time, yes. this vehicle, I hear just one touch. You can take care of navigation your smartphone, your music, right? So much of today's cars has to be that connectivity, that, that that sense of, you know, that seamless move from my house to my car to my work. I need to be connected all the time. And that's something Kia does really, really well. We do very well in JD Power analysis, and a lot of it is because how easy our infotainment systems are to use. So, uh, Kia, we like to keep it easy and keep it simple. And keep it safe, too. Keep it safe, yes, very safe. In fact, this vehicle has all sorts of technology that anal analyzes the road ahead of you, behind you, keeps you in lane, keeps the family safe. That's what it's all about. And great all-wheel drive because I hear you might need that here in Chicago now and then. Do we ever. All right. Thank you for your time, James. And now time to head to Toyota with JR. Thanks, Tracy. Now, if you're a sports car enthusiast like me, I'm betting you remember the first time you saw a Toyota. Now, forgive me for this Supra. It first rolled out in 1978. Now, after a 17-year absence, say hello to the new Toyota GR Supra. The company that, Gazoo Racing, the company that helped design it. Needless to say, speed's not going to be a problem. And we welcome Kurt McAllister of Toyota. And Kurt, this is a much anticipated day for Toyota. I'm wondering that uh, movie buffs might recognize this. A absolutely. You know, we've been waiting two decades for Super to come back. And really, movies like Fast and Furious kind of kept it at a kind of iconic status. And of course, again, the Gran Turismo games. But I'll tell you what, we've been waiting a long time for our pony car and it's back in the stable. All right. The thing I'm interested in most in is horsepower. Tell us a little bit about the engine of this Supra. Sure. So it's, it's, it's in line six. It's twin turbo. Uh, and it's 335 horsepower for a very light car. So we can actually do zero to 60 in, in just four seconds. Wow. And that looks really, really tough. That's a muscle car there. When can they see the new Supra in the showroom? Actually late this summer. Uh, and the beauty of it is it's available for less than $50,000. Wow. That's great. It is. It's a very affordable hobby car. So hopefully we're going to give it a look. All right, Kurt. Thank you for so much for introducing us to the new Toyota Supra. We'll be back with more from the Chicago Auto Show after these messages. Coming up, Acura blazed a trail with the NSX3 decades ago. Now they're rolling out a whole new spin on this iconic supercar. And Jeep jumps back in the pickup world in a big way. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents the Chicago Auto Show. Experience the Chicago Auto Show for yourself. Get your tickets at drivechicago.com. And before you go, be sure to download the Auto Show app to your smartphone or tablet. I love cars all my life. Still love cars. I love cars. I still love them. Oh, yeah, I love cars. It is a passion that obviously runs deep in this family, with three generations running neighboring dealerships in Fox Lake. There's Raymond Sr., Raymond Jr., and Ray. Not too far away, Mark Scarpelli heads up the family's two Antioch stores. He says that dedication helps set the Ray Auto family apart from the rest. You can come into one of our stores almost at any time and meet one of the owners, and we're there to help you. Loyal customers admit that hands-on approach is key in keeping them in the Ray Chevy fold. It's always the back room that keeps your people coming back and how well you're taken care of. Ray has always been the best. Making sure that they have a great buying experience, service experience, no tell people, and that's how we grew it. And grow it did. At its beginning in the early 90s, Ray Chevy had 16 employees. We have over 100 employees today. We sell about 300 new and used vehicles a month. After every sale, each Ray Chevy customer is invited back for a new owner's clinic to get all their car tech questions answered. In fact, great customer satisfaction scores earn them Chevy's coveted Dealer of the Year award once again. But while success is nice, Ray also makes giving back a top priority, from conducting multiple food drives each year, even throwing a festive holiday party for kids in need. I really enjoy it because I think it's really important to give back to community. It's the right thing to do, and in a small way, we're helping. Now, along with following in his father's footsteps as a car dealer, Ray will also enjoy his dad's former post as the chairman of the Chicago Auto Show. Very proud. Oh, absolutely proud. Very grateful that I get to be part of a great institution like the Chicago Auto Show.
Hey, welcome back to the Chicago Auto Show. I am still Mark G. Greco. We're over here at Jeep, an iconic brand. When you think of Jeep, you think of off-road dependability, capability, style, and everything else. But the manufacturer hasn't had a pickup truck in its lineup since the 80s. And wow, look at this. The Gladiator is back, and so is Ray. He's not only the chairman of the show, you're also a proud Jeep dealer. This just screams adventure. Well, it's a mid-size adventure machine. It's very capable. It has a Wrangler front and a pickup in the back. How much more fun is that? Well, speaking of the back, if somebody's going to buy this, they want to know what the towing capacity is. Mark, it's 6,750 pounds. It can tow. It's not a toy. Wow. Well, what took so long to bring the Gladiator back? You know, the fans brought it back, I think. The demand, and it just drove the manufacturer to do what they did, and it turned out great. Vehicles like this, it's kind of cyclical, right? Cultures change, you go back to old school and everything else. It, it, what was old is now new, and look at it. It's so much newer, updated, and just an adventure outdoor machine. That's right. I still got this suit from the 80s. <laughs> We're in. Yeah, we are, Ray. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's kick it over to JR now. He's with Acura. He's with Acura. Thanks, Mark. Here at the Chicago Auto Show, it's the year of the comeback in 2019. And what better time then to introduce the brand new Acura NSX, a supercar that's an exotic car. And John Ikeda of Acura is here to talk with us about that. Now, this car is designed to help people see Acura in a little bit different way, John. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we're really excited about this because 30 years ago, here at the Chicago Auto Show, we debuted the original prototype of the NSX. Uh, we're about performance. And and the original innovation on the old vehicle was that it was an all new mid-engine car built around an aluminum body. Mm -hmm. The new car it still follows through with all the innovation. This new car is about hybrid system. So this is a supercar that has got a hybrid system, meaning we have a twin turbo V6 engine, mm -hmm. but it's tied to three motor uh, electric motor system that makes this car really, really move. Now I like the basic color of black on black on black, but there are some new colors with this vehicle. Yes, I mean, we brought here with the red to match what the old car has, but uh, we have a thermal orange vehicle that is very, very, it's, it's a special orange vehicle. We, we could show you here, but uh, yeah, we have that vehicle uh, in orange now. And if I go to the factory right now, there's a lot of orange cars being made because a lot of orders have come in for that color. And speaking about the electrics of it, does that give this car a quick jump off the line? Absolutely. So the NSX uses the electric mo with the motor with mm -hmm. an instant torque off the line. Mm -hmm. And as we go faster and faster, the engine kicks in, and it just keeps on going and going. So uh, it's very, very exciting. Outstanding. John, thank you so much for giving us a tour through the Acura NSX. Now let's check in with Val and Ryan. Hey, JR, we are at the ABC7 booth. Obviously, a lot of loyal watchers and a lot of loyal yeah. fans of the auto show. Of course, we've been looking at the cars all hour, the test tracks, the virtual reality yeah. experiences. So many great ways to make so many great memories, Val. Yeah, and we found a few folks who have found some things they like to take home from the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, like Myrna. Come on up here, Myrna. How are you? I'm great. Tell me what your favorite thing is about the auto show. My favorite thing is to go and do see all the, the exhibits and the fancy cars and meet you guys. Oh. <laughs> Have you picked out something you want to take home? Not yet. I just got here. <laughs> you can take me home. Let's I'd go. I'd love to uh, take you home. <laughs> you know what? You're going to have to fight for that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, everybody having a good time out here? All right. Okay. Who, who's going to buy me a car? Who's going to buy me? Okay. We got some takers. I think the better question is yell out your favorite car from the 2019 Chicago Auto Show. Come on. You know what? There's a plethora there. You know what I heard out of that? The Wrangler, my favorite, too. Oh, We're going to have more from the 2019 Chicago Auto Show right after this. Love social media. The Chicago Auto Show is on every social media channel Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat. People can download the Chicago Auto Show mobile app and actually get a ticket for $10. That's $3 off of the adult mission price. It's a great virtual companion or tour guide to the show that you can use while you're there to get the most out of your experience. We offer fans real time advice. We are constantly monitoring our social media channels 24-7, and if people are on their way down to the show, they can actually tweet us, and we'll tell them the closest parking garage to park in. Social media is the perfect place to get everything Chicago Auto Show. 
including daily schedules of events, detailed maps of exhibits, and even blog posts. Admission price is going to be high. You cannot miss our social squad. They are roaming throughout the show floor with enlarged Instagram frames. So for fans who take their picture with in the Instagram frame, they are able to win instant prizes from the show floor. One, two, three. We're running a daily Instagram story, so just make sure to monitor that for ways to save. Fans who use our official hashtag, CAS19, will automatically be entered to win prizes. So right at the entrance of the North Hall, you'll find our Buzz Hub. We have a 21-foot social media wall with real-time trending information. We also have enlarged hashtag letters, so you can pose for that photo opportunity in front of those hashtag letters. We're actually running a contest to have people share their show experience because who isn't pulling out their cell phone when they get to McCormick Place to see all those glistening automobiles? There will be Facebook Live broadcasts throughout the show where you can experience many of the displays. And don't forget, the automakers are listening to you. We love to see what gets fans buzzing. So people who are tweeting about the latest concept vehicle or the coolest test track at the show, we're monitoring that in real time and actually assessing trends. coverage of the Chicago Auto Show. Boy, time flies when you're buying a car. I'll That's true, it does. You know, we've shown everybody so much of this auto show, but our ABC7 colleagues are still out on the showroom floor, so let's check in with them one last time. Wow, we have all seen some really spectacular vehicles tonight, right, Cheryl? Yes, no matter what vehicles you're looking for, they're right here, like this legacy. And that's right, the Jetta keeps getting better, too. Oh, I think I've spotted my dream car for sure. With all the rides and beautiful cars, I think this is the place to be. Talk about a quick hour of television right there. I want to thank all our ABC7 crew members for putting on a spectacular show and highlighting all the great attractions here. And we're joined by the chairman of the Chicago Auto Show, Ray Scarpelli, the co-chair, Tony Guido, and the general manager of the Chicago Auto Show, Dave Sloan. And gentlemen, it has been another spectacular event. Absolutely. Ray, you got to spend the whole day here, don't you? You do. And you need to bring the family, too. There's six outdoor test drive opportunities, four indoor test tracks, and a scramble net, which you know about. Oh, all too well. <laughs> Maybe I need to try it as well. Dave, lots of us are in the market for some new wheels. Why is the Chicago Auto Show the place to be? Well, you get everything all under one roof, and so you can, pair, can compare things side by side and try everything on for size. A lot of good cars. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, you take over the chairman, chairmanship next year, but you've got the office hours this year. That's right. The show is open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. through President's Day. All right. All right. That's our show for Mark G. Greco and Cheryl and Roz and Ryan and Val and Tracy Butler. I'm Jim Rose. Thanks for watching ABC7's coverage of the Chicago Auto Show.